Good morning. It's day 25. And in honor of Patricia, my Camino family friend, I am doing a video today where I document all of my stops and everything because I stop a lot while I walk the Camino. And I'm going to keep track of when I stop, what time I stop, the time I do things, the kilometers that I do things, whatever. We'll see how it all comes together. But I thought I would start with the first wake up of the morning. It's 5.20 a.m. I'm in Leon and there's still people outside <laughs> drinking from the night before because it's Saturday morning now. It was Friday night last night. Um, I am going to get up get ready. I didn't sleep that great. I woke up um, at like two in the morning and had a hard time going back to sleep. And then of course, when my alarm went off, I was deeply asleep and could have kept sleeping, but that's just how it goes. Um, I'm walking 24 and a half kilometers today to San Martin del Camino. Um, and um, I'm meeting Sora, my South Korean Camino family friend. 6 a.m. at the cathedral, which is a couple minutes away from my hotel, to start walking. So, I'll see you then. Time to get up. Okay, it's 6.03, and we are leaving Leon. stop of the day. It's 7.40 in the morning. Walk 6.75 kilometers. Having a croissant, some water, and some ibuprofen. Okay, I'm walking again. I just stayed at that little cafe for like 10 to 15 minutes and started walking again. It's a little before 8. Um, I'm a little bit concerned today because my right hip, which is where I had surgery last year, is twingy today. The same kind of like weak, unstable feeling that I had before I had the surgery. I'm hoping it's just like out of alignment and inflamed. I don't really know. It's fine on flat, but as soon as I try to hike my knee up to go up an incline, it twinges. And that's making me nervous because we are approaching mountains very soon, and the last like 10 days of the Camino is lots of up and lots of down. So, I don't know. Um, we'll see. Just as always, take it slow. Be very ginger with it. I'm trying to, you know, demand more of my left leg for ups and downs and curves and that kind of thing. It's not too much up and down today, but some, enough to give me an indication that something wonky is going on. Um, but in other exciting good news, we've crossed over the under 300 kilometers to go mark. So we're at 290 something now, which is exciting. And then another 20 kilometers, I will have walked 500. So approaching the 500 kilometers walked mark, which is all very exciting. So when you get out of El Virgen del Camino, uh, there's a choice between the north route, which is the original Camino, and the southern route, which is all an alternative, which is a little bit more varied and interesting. It doesn't run along the road, but it's seven kilometers longer. And the, the good place to stop on that way is Vilar de Mazarif, but that means you have a 30 kilometer walk into Astorga the next day and I don't want to walk 30 kilometers in one day. <laughs> I'm not sure at this point that I can. So I'm going to San Martin del Camino which is 24.5 and then tomorrow into Astorga will be just under 23. That's much more manageable so I think we're going to be along this road for a while but it saves seven kilometers and this is the original, it's the actual Camino. Um, I just saw at the last cafe Eleanor, uh, who's also from Portland, and Kate, who's from Poland. We've been seeing each other off and on. 
Um, Kate had some blister problems, so she had to take a bus, and so we got separated, and then Eleanor took a rest to Amburgo, so I hadn't seen her since then. It's always fun to see people that you know, so we might end up at the same albergue tonight. We shall see. Um, definitely seeing a lot of new people that I've never seen before. I think there are many people who leave from Lyon and start the Camino from there. And also since I took a rest day, I'm now seeing people who were like a day behind me and who didn't take a rest day. Um, so yeah, lots of new faces. Okay, getting ready to go downhill, so I need my pole, so see you along the way. it is very kind and speaks very good English. Um, I've taken a shower, I've done my laundry, played with the dog a little bit, did my leg massages. I'm gonna go upstairs and elevate my legs and have a little rest. Then I'm probably gonna go over to the supermarket that's right outside here and try to get some things for breakfast. And um, she's gonna cook us a meal tonight, which is very nice. Um, and yeah, I walked 26 kilometers by 1.30 p.m. today, which was uh, maybe the fastest time yet. I only stopped, Patricia, three times, I think, out of 26 kilometers, which is pretty good for me. My hips started feeling a lot better the last third of the walk, so I'm hoping that it was just kind of like out of alignment or something and it's working itself out. It's funny when you don't walk for a whole day and then you walk again, your body's like, oh, we're doing this again. Um, but there, the walk today was until we got to the moment where you could start seeing the mountains in the distance, which is the mountains we're walking towards and we'll walk over, which was beautiful. The walk was pretty uninspiring today, so I don't have that much footage. It was basically walking next to a road and a lot of kilometers walking out of Leon in the city street. So that was pretty much the walk today. Um, I will take you along for the rest of the evening if there's anything to show. Uh, tomorrow I'm walking into Astorga, which I'm really excited about because there's a cool Gaudi palace that I want to go to, and I'm also staying in a spa, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to use the spa.